is part eight of our conversation with Joseph Williams. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Wilma, Fing- is it Fingadoo? Yeah, Fingadoo. You lost me. Well, it's an inside joke. The, the t- first of all, the song is for my mother who died when I was a kid. And on most of my solo albums, I, I have one song at least that's either dedicated to her or, or written for her or some sort of cathartic uh, release for me in, mu- in musical form. I, I've always done that just, you know, o- over the years. And so this was that song. And this, this, this was probably the most uh, sort of fleshed out and, and thought out piece for her. It's kind of a release uh, in terms of what the lyric is saying, but uh, it's 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 a it's it, the 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 title of the song would is going to be very confusing when people sort of hear the music because the title kind of sounds humorous, but it's not a, a it's humorous pretty song. very pretty song. Yeah, thanks. It's um the i the the thing about Wilma Fingadu was a joke my mother used to tell. And, you know, you, you know how you make up names, like, for instance, um, you know, um, uh, Lou Spowles, you know, those sort of made up names, you know, that are, that are funny. Well, my mother made up one one time, and that was Wilma Fingadu, as, as if you're saying, hey, you know, uh, my dick don't work, but Wilma Fingadu, <laughs> you get it? So that was hers. That was, you know, my, my father and my mother used to play this game where they would make those kinds of names up and see if they could make each other laugh. And so one of my one of my moms was Wilma Fingadoo, which is actually very funny. And I just chose to spell it that way because it looks like some sort of French spinster. <laughs> it does. And I kept going, what? and then, I, like you said, I listened to it. I'm going, it's really pretty and lovely. <laughs> Yeah, and then, of course, people will obviously think that my mother's name was Wilma, which is not. Again, let's just touch on If I Fell Again. That's just one of those songs that it's a go-to song for a lot of people for a very good reason, of course. I mean, that's one of those melodies that's eternal. They've got a few of those, that band I hear. Um, How far back does your love for the Beatles go? Far back is when I can't remember things. Yeah. That's how far back. I mean, are we the I'm, same age? You're 60, you said, right? I'm sick. I mean, yeah, I'm 60. I turned 60 in September, so we're we're probably both. You're either you're either 59 or 60. I'm uh, turning 61 in, on February 1st. So you're born. You were born 59. Uh, so February 1st, uh, 60. Right. So I'm September 60. So by the time I was like, I don't know, f- six or maybe eight. You know, my siblings were playing Beatles stuff, or you know, in the house or whatever, and that was how I was introduced to them. And, you know, my, my brothers, my brother and I used to put olives on our fingers and pretend that they were the Beatles, you know, the black <laughs> olives when we were kids. So we were big fans, you know, in our, in our house all the way, f- you know, from the beginning. And then, and then, you know, something about Paul's voice and his songwriting and stuff has always hit home with me. So he's, he's probably my number one vocal hero. Remember, there are links in the description of this video to both Joe Williams' brand new album and Steve Lukather's brand new project as well. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. More from Joseph Williams coming up in a few days. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Mm